friends, welcome to my channel. This is Amber Michelle. Welcome to episode three of Prep This House series. So today we are downstairs in the girls' bedroom. Um, regretfully, I once again did not catch an awesome before. Right now, we have hired the same guy that did Trinity's room to do this room. Hi, camera. She said, hi, camera. Okay, so basically what's gonna happen is I'm going to show you um, before of this room and I'm gonna combine it with our living room which is connected uh, through French doors and I'm gonna show you that. And then what's gonna happen in there is not gonna be like total redecorate, it's basically gonna be paint and what we went from before to after. Now you can currently see that the original color is somewhat of a gray maybe a little rosy gray they wanted the same color as the boys room which is valspar's blizzard fog if you're interested in that color i know right now lowe's has five dollars off a can of all their valspar paints so I was so glad that i went and picked up uh all of those that i needed while they were on sale so let me give you a tour of this room a good before view and then we'll um be a couple of days and I'll show you the process to the after. This kid loves the camera. <laughs> okay, you can hear Olaf singing in the background because Frozen is on this morning. Uh, hope the lighting will show. You can see some spackling there. Um, he's coming in this morning to continue painting. We do have 12 foot ceilings in this house. Uh, top floor and bottom floor so that's a whole lot of painting we have to paint all of this um, what is this called have to paint the mantle and a lot of trim work touch up paint this is kind of how the paint has done through the house um, over time whether it's just chipping water or just normal wear and tear uh, okay so the girls have a full double bunk bed in this room and they rather that than just putting a couple of twins and these rooms are shaped differently so each room has a um i don't know if you can tell this one all the kids rooms have the the almost like a bay window type of design makes fitting beds and stuff kind of difficult okay so this is their bunk bed and it's just in the middle of the room because obviously he's working and painting but I want to show you a couple of updates that we did so they had a pedestal sink in here that was very very small hello and um, they went with this wooden and black theme in here we picked up this mirror at Hobby Lobby on sale we picked up this uh, shelving unit because they just don't have much storage here Got this light and vanity at Lowe's. They go together and did the black sink, oh, the black faucet. So this is cute. It has the little barn door and um, three drawers for storage. We also had the tub redone, which was starting to chip. These are from um, 1911 is the date stamped on the bottom of these claw foot tubs. So, uh, you know, over time they, the enamel breaks down and so we had them restored we put this little shelf Addie picked this picture from Hobby Lobby it's a map of Paris and we had like an over the toilet metal storage thing and it was just um, not functioning well anyway so I chose we all so we chose this little shelving unit to store more stuff. Mia has a little drawer system here. And um, anyway, so gave them a lot more storage in this bathroom and made it a little more um, up to date for them. And so that's one of the things that we've done in prepping for selling the house. So the bathroom is just one of the things that we did to prep the house, getting ready for um, selling and those are the things that we decided to update and I think it made a big difference in 
this house, that's for sure. <laughs> Kids everywhere. Okay, so this is what the current status of this sitting room looks like, and that's just basically uh, all the girls' stuff from their room, their desk, and their chest, all of their decorations, everything from the wall. So all of their belongings out here, and I'm glad we have this space, which is connected, as you can see, to the living room. Okay. Yikes. We haven't moved these since we had them delivered in, I think it was January. Okay, here is where we're stacking everything. Got some furniture pieces, push the table out of the way. The lighting the girls will be putting their room back together tonight so I can get this video um, of how everything turned out fully done but the paint came out fantastic very happy with the color touched up all of the trim and wanted to show you um, pretty much it before we put it back to normal Okay, so I am in the finished room for Addie and Mia. Um, I gave you a tour. Basically, they set up a desk area. Uh, this is where the armoire used to be and redid their mantle. Um, and this is where Pascal is now and the armoire. And then they've never had their bed in this position. And they've lived in this room uh, probably about three years now. And I don't think they thought it could fit in this space, but obviously it did and looks really good and cozy there. So um, this is the finished product for their room and they love it, we love it. Uh, the paint came out really nice, brightened it up and it's looking so good. And so today it's all done and we are finished. I'm also gonna show you the living room, which we finished yesterday. Uh, the guy who was painting, he had some stuff go on with the hurricane and his daughters. And we just decided to do it since baby is coming soon. So we got that done and I'm going to show you what that looks like right now. So you got to see the finished living room area and this is how it came out. We decided on a gray. I don't think Tommy was too short on the contrast between the white and the gray. It ended up being a little lighter than we wanted or originally thought it would be. But I think it looks fantastic. It really brightened up. It was that um, kind of a creamy, yellowy-ish color. And now it's nice and bright. Okay, I'm gonna show you the sitting area and that's the last of this update.
Well, thank you so much for joining me today for this episode of Prep This House. Today I'm currently 36 weeks and that means that we are very close to the end. Projects pretty much are done. I'm down to just a couple left, but I'm very happy with the progress that we made. Always remember, whatever you're going through, God is always there. Be blessed. Peace.